Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Uh, we're gonna the big one for you today: Canelo and Edgar Berlanga uh, in in the main event next Saturday. Uh, we're gonna get into that a little early this week. The props and everything are out, so we can take a look at this. Uh, I want you guys to get your best locked in soon. But before we do that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow three D Boxing, three D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, uh, showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. So join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Just five dollars a month. It's five dollars a month. It gets you all the updated prop bets. Uh, it gets you. Ask the bookie anything, request a fight. It gets you the absolute best gambling advice in the world, in the boxing world, for just $5 a month. Also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into, let's get into today's show. We all know Canelo. Um, obviously, Canelo is a heck of a fighter. Uh, he's patient. Stalker likes to use the middle of the ring and then in, right? Start in the middle of the ring, try to push it backwards over time. Uh, he's best coming forward. Hands high guard, slips in. Great counter left hook. Uh, he's aging and slowing down a little bit. He, he's getting hit a lot more, especially in that uh, Mungia fight. He's sort of taking a lot of shots. Uh, he can still slip and pull back, but he's just not – not a, as reflexive and, and not as quick as he used to be. He mixes up his punches extremely well. He's still really, really good at judging distances. And he's got that denting power. It's like that Earl Spence kind of power for that he has at 47 that Canelo has at 68, where it just slows you down. It hurts you. It breaks down over time, hits you in the arm, hits you in the body. You start dropping your arms, and he can, he can really capitalize on that. Picks up shots, and he can still slip them. He moves his head just a little bit. He, he pulls back just a little bit. Uh, still really, still really good defensively and offensively. He's absolutely as complete an offensive fighter as there is. Beautiful straight shots. Starts slow, picks up the pace. Strong in, strong on the inside. Trades really well. Great uh, body puncher. Really, really commit, commits to the body. Has a real hard jab. Shotgun, you know, hard jab. Really good. Complete offensive fighter, sets up the jab, works behind the jab, rips to the body, mixes up his punches exceptionally well, throws hard, commits to his shots, terrific timing and spacing, cuts off the ring really well, stays on you, can hurt you, can make you fight when you don't want to, dictates the terms of the pace, great uppercut, great skills on the inside. There's really not much to criticize about Canelo offensively. Defensively, he's still good, but you can see he's aging and slowing down and taking a bit more shots than you might be accustomed to. Now, everyone knows he's absolutely going to destroy Edgar Berlanga. Everyone already knows that Berlanga has very little chance in this fight. Uh, he's a big hitter, obviously. Had that amazing start to his career. 16 consecutive knockouts. Pressure fighter, come forward guy. Selective with his shots. He 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 tries to walk you down without without working behind the jab, without throwing. Because in essence, what he is, is a counterpuncher. And he waits for you to throw, and then he counters it with something big. And he tries to break you physically, right? Just walk you down by being the bigger, stronger animal in the ring. It's not going to really work with Canelo. This is stylistically a terrible matchup for Belanger. Uh, he's applies pressure and comes forward. And he has a powerful jab, but he doesn't let his hands go. He's just coming forward and trying to, you know, physically walk you back, physically hurt you, physically dent you. Um, he... he he tries to weigh you down that way. He doesn't try to weigh you down with a body attack. He doesn't try to jab his way in. He just tries to walk you down. Uh, I'm not a huge fan. I, he had that in incredible streak to his career. 16, I think, first-round knockouts. And that eventually came to an end. And you can see there's not much else there. He's got very little chance in this fight. He's not particularly fast. Like I said, he's not a high-volume guy. He likes to counter. Um, he... he he brings the fight to you by using his physicality, like I talked about. He, not a ton of lateral movement. He sits down, commits to his shots well, throws really hard. He's pretty accurate uh, from the long range. He's pretty good accurate, pretty accurate as a counter puncher. There's just no way for him to really win. If they get on the inside, Canelo's going to outwork him, out hustle him, and not skill him. From the outside, he's just not busy enough. He's going to look to counter Canelo. Canelo throws in great combinations. He's just not going to get off. There's everything I see here tells me that this is going to go quite poorly for Belanga. I do. Th well, let's take a look at the props. Let's take a look at the odds here. 
Uh, Canelo is, is a massive favorite, and he should be. So th there's this. There's over 18 and minus 1,800 for Canelo. It's actually getting worse. The last time I checked this morning, it was minus 1,600. Now we're up to minus 1,800. You can add it to your parlay if you want. I, I did not think the odds were going to be this wide. I thought minus 800, minus 1,000, something in that range. Minus 1,800 is crazy. He's going to outwork and, and outbang. And he's good. This is, these odds are actually indicative of how wide this fight is. Vegas is getting this right. They also got this right. I would stay away from this as well. You can, you can parlay this if you want. I would stay away from the over under. My guess, if I said Canelo in nine or 10, we're literally at eight and a half, which means halfway through the ninth round. I'd stay away from this over under. I just, I don't love this at all. I think they're minus 115 on both is good. They're going to make money on the on the juice. So stay away from them. Stay away from that. The two bets I like a lot. Canelo by TKO. I, I think this is almost certain. Uh, I would make my big bet on that. $100 bet is, in this case. Your, your normal bet, your one-times bet, in this case, $100 would make you about 35 bucks. Tonight. Not terrible. The other bet I really, really like on this is Canelo win by TKO. You know, I don't think he's going to get a KO, knock him out cold. I, I think this is a, a thing where, you know, he the ref either gets in and stops the beating or maybe Berlanga's team stops it in the corner. But to me, this is a, a TKO kind of fight. And to get almost even money, minus 125, and that's not bad. But, you know, I'll bet half your normal bet would make you – $50 in this case would make you 40 bucks. So it's close to even money. Uh, this here, what I'm showing you here is a $150 bet. And it's going to make you $75. So that's, it's not terrible odds to do it this way. I think this is a, a nice hedge just in case this Canelo by TKO doesn't come through. You got your money back because Canelo's almost certainly going to stop him. The, the rest of it just the, the over under, I would stay away from. If I had to guess, I guess I'd go the over, but I'd stay away from that. Canelo, Berlanga, Canelo's going to win, but at, plus eight, at minus 1,800, it's just not worth it. Like, it's, it's there's no upside to that. You can add it to your parlay, help bring down the odds, but that's the best you're going to do. So Canelo by stoppage and Canelo by TKO are the bets to go. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog, and all forms of social media. Guys, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Link is in the description. Um, just five dollars a month gets you the absolute best gambling advice in the world. The lock of the week, lock of the week is hit five, six weeks in a row, something crazy like that. It is September 6th, uh, 2026, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.